These intellectual properties are potentially cinematic treasure troves. Pandora, no! You know why I'm here. You brought me here to do this. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 video games that should have film adaptations. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. For this list, we'll be looking at another set of video games that we believe would make the transition to film with awesome results. We're obviously ruling out franchises that already have feature-length films, and seeing as this is our second list on the topic, make sure you also check out our first list if your favorite video game didn't make it here. But now I'm afraid you have outlived your usefulness. Number 10, Castlevania series. <laughs> Hollywood has no shortage of movies based around vampires. While there have been many incarnations over the years, perhaps they should take a lesson from this highly successful series and take the genre back to its roots. Scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle. With decades of games to choose from, filmmakers would have quite a selection on their hands, from the Belmont's quest to defeat the Vampire King to Soma Cruz's personal struggle to subdue his bloodsucker heritage. Anyway, all we really need is for them to include a reference to this. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! Number 9, God of War series. The very beings who forged the Earth raged out of control for an eternity. It's a tried and proven method that when you mix mythology with excessive amounts of violence, you can earn yourself a household name. Kratos' tale of bloody vengeance would be something of a spiritual successor to 300, with the best parts of Clash of the Titans added on, which could prove to be quite a juggling act. As long as the size and scope of the characters are fully realized, and our favorite Spartan dispatches his enemies in the most brutal ways possible, then chances are this could become a mythological action blockbuster that will have audiences cheering while also cringing at how Poseidon gets the stuffing beaten out of him. Number 8, XCOM 2. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Turn-based tactics would normally be a rather tricky subject to turn into a cohesive cinematic narrative. Luckily, the XCOM franchise has practically mapped out the makings for a thrilling sci-fi action fest that, in the right hands, could mix the original splendor of Independence Day with a darker undertone due to the series' latest entry's plot. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Having lost the battle with the alien menace, the once formidable XCOM unit has become a handful of resistance fighters, forced to launch guerrilla warfare on a now totalitarian alien-infested Earth. With a plot like that, there's plenty of potential to capture both high-octane thrills as well as an overwhelming sense of dread. Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. Number 7, Command & Conquer Red Alert series. It isn't ready. It hasn't been tested. We don't even know if it works. If what works? My time machine. This one is kind of an obvious choice, since the cutscenes in this real-time strategy game already feature live-action performances. The premise here is built on a singular theory. What if Albert Einstein traveled back in time and killed Hitler? Unimpeded by the Nazis, the Soviet Union becomes a massive superpower that soon invades Europe, forcing the nations of the world to unite under the ultimate red menace. Continue to do so, and your future is as bright as the star of the Soviet Union. Due to its unapologetic cheesiness, this could easily become a tongue-in-cheek comedy that could poke fun at the ridiculousness of its scenario, but it could also be a fun intersection of the science fiction and war movie genres. Would we be interested? Affirmative. General, we need you to take us the rest of the way. Next stop, the Kremlin. Number six. Beyond Good and Evil. Here on Hillis, war has once again reared its ugly head, striking the civilian population. Luckily, our elite forces have once again arrived in the nick of time. If Guardians of the Galaxy and Serenity taught us anything, is that the world is hungry for some fun, colorful sci-fi that still manages to present a legit threat for audiences to invest in. Jade and her motley crew of alien pals fit right into this category, and as an investigative reporter looking into a galaxy-wide conspiracy, there's certainly the makings of a gripping story here. Considering how our protagonist is also far from helpless and well-versed in martial arts, adding well-choreographed fight scenes would also elevate it from your average spacefaring adventure, not to mention giving fans a new kick-ass heroine to look up to. Thanks, Jade. If it weren't for you, I think that... Don't mention it, you old fart. 
Let's get a move on. I got a feeling the best is to come. Number five, Metal Gear Solid series. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes, this is a top secret black op. There's never been a greater example in gaming that's managed to combine espionage, conspiracy, and a whole lot of feels more than this franchise. Granted, due to each of the game's excessive amount of exposition, fitting a direct adaptation of one of the games into a two-hour film would kind of be out of the question. Still, there's plenty of gaps in the timeline that would be suitable for new stories to fill in. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? Nine. With an immersive, historically accurate backdrop accompanied by antagonists with out-of-this-world abilities, a cinematic version of Snake and Company's tactical espionage operations would be glorious. Snake! Number four, Life is Strange. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? The beauty of this episodic tale of growth and sacrifice wasn't only due to the protagonist's ability to manipulate time, but from the trials and tribulations she shared with her fellow students. On the cusp of adulthood, Max Caulfield makes for an excellent heroine that everyone can relate to on some level, painting a bleak but truthful experience about the pressures of high school. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Throw in a compelling murder mystery, the dangerous consequences of time travel, as well as a rather beautiful relationship with her old friend Chloe, and you have the makings of a film that could not only entertain, but strike a powerful chord with young adults. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Number three, To the Moon. With the creation of game engines like RPG Maker, more and more people are contributing to the indie game scene, raising the bar in quality storytelling. Our pick of the litter has to go to this deeply moving and oddly profound hit. The plot follows two scientists as they attempt to implant artificial memories into the mind of a dying man, so he can live out his dream of heading to the moon. Things don't exactly go according to plan, and what follows is a journey through a man's less than cheery life with the sci-fi element acting as a catalyst to tell a story of unrequited love. A movie adaptation would be one heck of a tearjerker. Number two, Dishonored. Tales of revenge never get old, especially when our protagonist is a mask-wielding assassin attempting to bring down an entire corrupt establishment armed to the teeth with supernatural powers. Players were immediately smitten due to this game's emphasis on stealth, branching ways to eliminate a target, and its cool art design taken right out of 19th century artwork. I must preserve our high overseer for future generations of the faithful to marvel at. A cinematic version would have to try to capture the city of Dunwall in all of its diseased and steampunk glory, while also capitalizing on the opportunity to bring more depth to Corvo and his personal demons over his failure to protect the Empress. If done well, Dishonored could truly be like a blood-stained painting come to life. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who will know what to do. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Dr. Cowell will be in a research lab somewhere in the underground facility. How will I recognize him? We don't have an image record, and we can't find any official files. F***ing my girl, man. It's wrong. Oh, I gotta f*** someone. You want me to f*** you instead? Is that the problem here? Jason Hudson was my new man. 54 ships destroyed. That's it. How many of those ships were civilian? Today's civilians are tomorrow's militia, sir. What do you want me to do? Wait? Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Number one, Uncharted series. But do you know why they prevailed? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Because they had the will to do what other men would not. <laughs> For our naughty dog pick, it was a tough choice between Uncharted and The Last of Us. But if it stays true to the spirit of the original game, Uncharted could easily become a new generation's Indiana Jones. The challenges of Nathan Drake are some of the most interesting that we've seen from the genre lately, so we would love to see his legendary outings given the Hollywood treatment. 
Of course, none of it would meld together unless they nailed the chemistry between Drake, the lovely Elena Fisher, and the hilarious Victor Sullivan. If they can get that down, they're practically sitting on a gold mine, or fortune. Well, I'll bid them. With what? Oh, that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? Do you agree with our list? I'm so glad you asked that question. What game do you think should be made into a feature film? First of all, I want to congratulate you on such an important victory. Be sure to check out our first list on this topic, and with new top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Come on. What do you say?